What is going on YouTube? My name is VisionX and welcome back to a brand new video guys. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create an insane gaming logo using Photoshop. So without further ado guys, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So just go ahead and open up your Photoshop guys and if you guys know my channel, you guys know this is the logo that I use and today what we're going to be creating is going to kind of look something like this guys. I'm not going to be creating the exact same thing, but I'm going to just kind of give you guys the idea so you guys can kind of play around with it and come up with your own personal personalized logo that you guys like that fits your needs so first thing you guys want to do is just go ahead and click file new and then just go ahead and make sure you have these settings right here you want to make the width 500 the height 500 you guys could turn this up or, or down it doesn't really matter this really just depend on your computer just go ahead and click ok guys and you should get this nice little box right here and I'm just go ahead and change the background color to black and I'm gonna hold alt and delete and that should automatically black out my background so now that I have a black background guys what I want to do next is just come over here to the pen tool just go ahead and click on that and yeah I'm just gonna be basically drawing a V using the pen tool and then we're just gonna kind of animate it so if you guys name starts with some another letter like a W or something like that just go ahead and kind of draw the same thing so since my my name starts with a V for vision X I'm just gonna go ahead and click and try to kind of create a V you guys can obviously bring in your rulers to kind of help you give you more accurate aligns you know we're not gonna be using that for this video just because you know I don't really need them but if you guys do you guys can go ahead and bring in your rulers to help you so have a nice little V going on right there it's not perfect but it works so what you guys want to do next is just go ahead and right click on it and then you want to click make selection and just go ahead and click ok you don't have to change nothing there and before you guys do anything else come over here and actually create a new layer so just go ahead and click that and then what you guys want to do is just change the color from black the background to white and just do alt and delete again and that's going to actually change the color of what the shape we just draw to white so as you guys can see I have a nice little V going on right there nothing too much nothing crazy we're just going to do Control D and that's actually gonna take the little highlight thing around it you know I don't know what to specifically call it but I have a nice little V right here guys nothing crazy I'm just gonna do Control T and kind of like resize it so it's, it's a little more straight because it's actually kind of lean right now just go ahead and click that look and then the next thing we're gonna do now guys is gonna come over here to the pen tool again we're still on the pen tool we're gonna create a new layer so just go ahead and create another new layer guys kind of zoom in if you guys want to get more accurate lines like I said guys and we're gonna create a nice little mini V so I'm gonna come over here on the tip of the V come click right there kind of come down right about here in the middle and then I'm just gonna click over here on this other edge as well and just kind of create a nice little mini V above the thing so what you guys want to do once you've done that is just go ahead and do the same thing we just did so go ahead and click and uh, right click and then make selection click OK and then once you guys done that we're gonna go ahead and change the color back to black instead of white and do alt and delete again and that will kind of just black that area out so now do it go ahead and do control D to get the highlight from around it and then once you guys done that go ahead and turn the opacity down on this little V that we just created so I'm gonna turn that down and as you guys can see it gives it that nice little 3d effects and so far guys this is a really cool looking logo so far and that was like really easy and really simple obviously it's not perfect right now because you know I'm just kind of just going quick for the sake of this video but you guys could kind of try to get more accurate lines so everything look much better but you guys kind of get the idea of what I'm trying to say here so like I said I have a nice little 3d V going on there right now we could go ahead and do a couple more stuff to it so what I'm gonna do now guys gonna go, go ahead and create a new layer I'm gonna come over here to my uh, rectangular tools actually not the rectangle but just go ahead and grab this tool I don't know how to pronounce that word just draw a circle around it uh, this is basically what I did for my band my logo so I'm just gonna go ahead and draw a nice circle and once I do that we're gonna do the same thing but we're gonna actually change this back to white so just going from black and white for the color right now we're just gonna do alt and delete again and that should change the background the circle that we just created to fully white and I'm gonna do control D again to kind of remove the thing around it like I don't know how to describe that but once you've done that guys what we're gonna do next now is actually do control J and what control J does is actually duplicates that little circle that we just made we're gonna right click on it hit blending option we're actually gonna change the color overlay to black again just go ahead and click OK once you guys have done that what we're gonna do now guys is go ahead and do control T 
and we're gonna resize it down so hold alt when you guys are resizing to keep everything in proportion and nice and neat so I'm just gonna resize it down and as you guys can see we got ourselves a nice little circle going on right there and what I'm gonna do right now guys is that that this one right here the black one that we changed to black I'm gonna actually hold control and then just click on it and that will highlight it again with the little tool that we have over there and we're gonna make sure we're on the bottom one so this white one we're gonna make sure we're on that one and then we're just simply just gonna hit delete once you guys hit delete it will then delete a nice little hole into the circle we created and then we could hide this one and we don't need this anymore we can actually go ahead and delete that right there uh, actually do control D to make sure it's not highlighted and then right click we could delete this because we don't need this one anymore and we have ourselves a nice little circle right there guys so looks pretty nice so far guys just gonna go ahead and do control T move it around so it kind of fits so kind of drag this in place and hold control T remember when you guys are resizing always hold alt I don't know what it is for you guys uh, on your keyboard but it's for me it's alt and what that does it makes sure everything stays in its proper shape so we're just gonna try to get this as accurate as possible try to resize it down a little bit more right there to a nice little circle and as you guys can see it's kind of coming together so far everything looks nice so what you want to do now guys once you guys have done that you're gonna want to go ahead and group these layers so the V that we created which is this one and this one we're gonna go ahead and do hold shift click on both of them this one and this one actually and then do control E and what that will do it will merge both the little V and the big V that we created into one layer so now this is just the big logo that we can move around and it's not you know going crazy so what we want to do is just go ahead and put that above the circle make sure it's above it so there we go it's above the circle and what we're gonna do now guys is go ahead and hold control again and then actually just click uh, the V and then make sure you're on the circle that we just created and you want to hit delete once you guys done that, you're going to come over here and just do control D and so it stops from uh, highlighting it and then we can go back on our V right here and as you guys can see, it made a hole like the V is kind of like, you know, kind of cut out a nice little V in the circle. And as you guys can see, it kind of looks just like the one that we did over here as you guys can see is basically how I got that effect right there. So what we could do with this now is do control T on actually the V, the little circle, not the V, do control T, we could resize it down a little bit more so hold, okay stop that do that again control T make sure you guys hold alt when you're resizing and you hide my rulers again and as you guys can see right there guys we got a nice little uh, logo going so far like I said guys I'm just kind of giving you guys the idea of how I did mine you guys obviously don't have to copy what I do just kind of go ahead and play around with it personalize it guys and just just kind of learn you know so I'm just gonna go ahead and lower this one actually if you guys do make your logo you don't have to like remove it you can actually keep your V in there so uh, for my uh, logo I actually removed it I deleted it completely but you guys could keep yours if you do create one like this it still looks really nice right there you know and you guys could just kind of add uh, some nice background and yeah it'll look fun so I'm gonna show you guys how I did these little eyes right here basically if you want that's what we're calling them uh, what I basically did guys was I kind of came over here on the the circle that we created actually and then I'm gonna go ahead and grab back my pen tool and I'm gonna zoom in and I'm just gonna hide this one for now so I can kind of see and I'm just gonna create a nice circle around this little area of it so I'm just gonna create a nice little circle I'm gonna do right click I'm gonna make selection just go ahead and click OK you guys don't have to play with anything in here and what we're gonna do right here guys is just go over here on this tool right here just go back on this tool and just kind of click right here and hit right click and then just do layer via copy once you guys done that it will copy this little thingy right here and as you guys you can't see it right now because they're the same color but I'm gonna do control T I'm gonna hold go ahead and hold all and resize that down so easy and simple guys as you guys can see that that is what I did use to create the nice little eyes so I'm gonna put back the V so I can kind of you know be a little bit more accurate I'm gonna kind of move that a little bit over there we go and what you guys want to do now is duplicate the little one that we just shrink down so I'm gonna do control J and actually I'm gonna do control T now once you do control J that duplicates it and the control T is what's gonna resize it and what you guys want to do is just right click and then click flip horizontal 
and as you guys can see the next one that we just duplicated it flipped to the other side so we could kind of just pull it over onto the next side of the uh, logo so once you guys done that like i said guys go ahead play around with it make sure it's perfect guys i'm not really trying to make everything perfect in this video because you know i already have my logo but just kind of giving you guys the idea as you guys can see it creates that nice little effect right there that looks it just looks really nice if you guys ask me and obviously you guys can change the color so if you guys want to kind of do a little bit more stuff on go back on the circle actually where it is so should be which one this one so just go back on this do control t and then actually not control t control j so we're trying to duplicate this circle right here to kind of give it a, a a nice effect like like what's on the logo the v logo so control j that should duplicate it and then you guys want to do control t and since you can't really see it right now but we're going to shrink it down a little bit just a little bit and then I'll go ahead and hit the check mark but what we're going to do is go ahead and change that to black so we're going to right click blending options and go ahead and do color overlay and make sure that is changed to black so once you guys change it to black go ahead do control t again let's go ahead and resize it down hold alt remember guys keeps everything nice and neat in shape I'm gonna pull that over there to kind of make sure it looks nice and we're gonna do is do the same thing that we did with the V and just lower the opacity guys and as you guys can see it creates that nice little effect right there it's like a 3d looking effect that looks really nice I say just put this around 20 looks nice 20 25 that should look really nice and as you guys can see that looks dope and if you guys want to change the color obviously you guys just could just go ahead and click on the V so where's the V uh, should be this one I'm not sure Okay, the top one actually. So just go ahead, click on the V if you guys want to change the color, do blending options, and actually do color overlay and just change it to whatever color you guys want. But as you guys can see, if you do change the color and it actually removes the effect that we just added, but how you guys want to do that again is simply just do the same process we just did. Just go ahead and do the same thing we did. So go ahead, click right here, create the nice little mini V actually. That's not going to look really nice. So just put it to around right here. Like I said, you guys could use your ruler to get more accurate lines and stuff. So just go ahead and do that and make sure you guys are creating a new layer whenever you're doing a make selection. So just right click again, uh, make selection, click OK and just go ahead and change that one to black. Same thing we did earlier, alt and delete. That should change it to black. Then you guys want to do control D. That removes the little outline and simply just turn on the opacity on this and you guys got that nice effect going on there again guys so pretty easy and simple tutorial showing you guys how to create an amazing logo guys if you guys do enjoy this video make sure you drop a like and if i was going a little too fast for you guys and guys there's anything you guys need help with don't be afraid to leave it in the comment section below guys but if you guys do want to just keep the v you can actually just hide everything else and just keep the v guys and as you guys can see still looks pretty nice you know like i said remember you guys name is probably not gonna be uh start with a v so you could create other shapes and stuff you know so if you guys do enjoy this video guys go ahead and drop a like on this video subscribe if you guys are new to the channel like i said guys if you need help with anything leave it in the description below and yeah i'm vision x and i'm signing up